Hello, beta testers. Welcome to the Logo Package Express extension beta. I'm going to quickly show you how to set up and create a logo package using Logo Package Express. So you've downloaded and installed the extension, and now you need to get it inside of Illustrator so you can start working with it. So all you have to do is go to Window, Extensions, and then select Logo Package Express from the dropdown. I have three in here because I'm doing testing, but you should only see one. That will open up the panel window. I'm going to take the panel window and attach it to the right side here so that it's out of the way. And now we can begin working. So this is a final artwork file, and I just want to make a selection of my final artwork and do set logo. This creates a new file with logo package and then the name of the original artwork file that you selected your artwork inside of. And we have generated this new artboard that fits perfectly to the artwork. And we can see that our original artwork was in CMYK mode. Now we are in the logo builder screen. This is the second screen. And this is where we choose all of the different components of our logo. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I have a logo mark. So I'll select the mark, I'll go to the logo mark section and I will do set logo mark. Okay, we've set it, we have a nice thumbnail, we know what it looks like. Now we go to logo type, click set logo type and we'll go to tagline and do set tagline. Okay, so I've made a mistake. My tagline is eco power, but I accidentally only selected eco, that's okay. You can delete and reset any of these components as much as you would like. So I'll just hit the trash can button to delete it, go back in and make a proper selection of my whole tagline and set tagline. Great, now everything looks good. Now we are ready to make our logos. So now because our artwork is in CMYK, we're ready to make our print logos. So I'll come down to make print logos select it, and automatically all of the different versions of the logo are created. Now we're taken to our first export window. This is the export for print window because we are currently making our print logos. So this is the last chance you have to review the artwork to make sure you selected everything correctly, that everything looks good. And I'm noticing that there are some logos in here that there are some components that I don't really need. For example, these inverted logos, I see some duplicates. I do not need just a green tagline because I have that up here. And I do not need just a white logo type because I have that in reverse. And the same thing with the green logo mark here. So I will, I will delete those because the only things I'm really interested in this case for inverted are these three different logos here. You can also, instead of just deleting individual logos, you can delete whole rows or whole columns if you don't need an entire color scheme or you don't need an entire component just by itself. Perhaps uh, you never really intended to have the tagline and the logo type together um, in this way, and you could simply delete all of these and they won't be exported. Or maybe you don't want to have grayscale versions of your logo. You can select that entire row, delete it, and they will not be exported. In this case, I'm going to do everything and now it's time to export. So all we have to do is go to export print logos and this is going to open a finder window or an explorer window if you're on PC and you just need to navigate to your logo package folder. If you haven't created a logo package folder you can just create a new folder and save your logos there. So I'm going to choose this leaf logo package and click open. When I click open I see another pop-up window that's going to ask me for the prefix. Uh, the prefix is typically the client's name, and in this case, I'm just going to call it leaf. And this will be what shows up at the beginning of all your file names. So I'll click OK. And now the folder that we have selected is going to be pulled to the front, and we're going to see these logos being made, generated, and sorted automatically. And this is how we can keep track of when the export is going to be finished. And also make sure that our logos are being exported. So we can see underneath this, these selections are moving through and exporting and everything is getting exported to our package. All right, so that's done. And now we can close this window. And the next thing that we're gonna do is our web logos. 
So let's select Make Web Logos. It'll go through and it'll generate the web logos and it has changed the document color mode from CMYK to RGB because we're gonna use RGB colors for the web. Now we have all of these versions again. And again, I don't need this green tagline or these two pieces of artwork. So I am happy with everything else and I am ready to export again. So I'll click Export Web Logos. I'll choose the same folder and I'll use the same prefix. And now we're going through and exporting the web logos. So that'll take just a second. And now we are completely done. We have a complete logo package with all of the print and web logos that we wanted. Everything is named perfectly and we're good to send this to the client. So that is how you make a logo package with Logo Package Express. And I will be providing additional videos that get into more detail about the settings and some more sort of unique things that you can do with Logo Package Express. So good luck and have fun testing. Thank you.